Hello, good morning students. We are doing conjunctions. What are conjunctions? Conjunctions are the words that join words, phrases or sentences. We discuss that these words which are called conjunctions, they make the sentences short, they make the sentences simple and easy to say. Now conjunctions as you know joining words we are going to discuss about this coordinating conjunctions. Now coordinating conjunctions they join as you know they join the words sentences or phrases and we are going to discuss this. They are also called as fanboys. Now why they are called fanboys because you see the first letter if you take F, F for all these are conjunction for a and so we are taking and as a, con as a conjunction then n nor that is also a, a conjunction b but that is also a conjunction o or that too conjunction and y for yet that also we are going to discuss that is a conjunction and the last one is s so so all these conjunctions are called fanboys okay and they are also called coordinating conjunctions now as you know conjunctions are joining are joining words they join sentences phrases or other words also now let us take one conjunction and that is the first conjunction which we are going to discuss is and very common we many a times we use and children do you know when to use and as a conjunction when the ideas are similar like i say the stars the stars shine in the sky the moon also shines in the sky now both are same stars are also shining in the sky, moon is also shining in the sky. Both are same. So can we make and join the two sentences? The stars and the moon shine in the sky. So in this way you see when there are similar ideas and is used to join words or sentences that show a similar idea. Ideas are same. Sun, stars are also shining, moon is also shining. Or I can say, I completed my homework, I read the lesson. Now both are the same ideas, you are reading the lesson and then completing the work. So you can say in this way, I read the lesson and completed my homework. Okay, so when the ideas are same, you use the conjunction and I have a pen, I have a pencil, both the things you are possessing, you are having it. So you have a pen and you have a pencil. No need to write or say it in two different sentences. We can say I have a pen and a pencil. So this conjunction and is used to join these two sentences. Both are same, you are possessing something. So you need. Now coming to the, the, when you write the conjunction or you join the sentence with a conjunction, some very important things you must remember is that here after pen I have put a full stop, here after pencil I have put a full stop. Why? Because this sentence is completed. I have a pen, complete. I have a pencil, complete. But when you see the sentence here where I use the conjunction and have I put a pair full stop here? No. Because my sentence is not completed. How can it be completed? I am joining the two sentences. So you cannot use a full stop here. Because you can put full, full stop only when it is completed. When only when it is completed you put the full stop. And one more thing to after full stop, we know that we always start a sentence with a capital letter. Here, I have used the capital letter I, but here 
there is no full stop so i will not use any capital letter and more what see i have not written i have why why should i repeat you should never repeat the same thing i have a pen and i have a pencil no never don't repeat the same thing you are making the sentence short simple okay and we see you say so you will not say i have a pen and i have a pencil no i have a pen and a pencil okay so you will not use the same repeated like uh, you can say i had tea i had two biscuits now same and you are having something you are eating something coffee or tea or two biscuits and having something so you can say like this i had tea and two biscuits we will not say like this i had tea and i had two biscuits why should we repeat we will never repeat i had tea and two biscuits okay coming to the next conjunction that is but now children it is opposite of and but is used to join two ideas that are opposite let i tell you i went to school full stop it was closed the opposite idea you went to school for your school but there was no the school was not open it was closed so you say i went to school but it was closed means it was not open you went to school for study isn't it the sky is cloudy it did not rain now when there are clouds in the sky we think that it will rain you can say in this way the sky was cloudy but it did not rain so but is used when it is opposite and like that see this he is poor he is happy now how will i join it is this similar idea is it like am is it like am he is poor and he is happy no poor when a person is poor he is not at all happy is it we think that if you don't have money you are not happy because you are not able to get the things you want so you have to use the conjunction but and how we are use i will write like this he is poor now see children this full stop i will not put because i am joining the sentences so you cannot put a full stop in the middle remember this it's not at all done okay we will never put a full stop in the middle he is happy now again he is he is will you repeat will you repeat no you will not repeat he is poor but Thank you, Chief.